Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One that takes us back to the Super Bowl performance that got the game salty about Eminem, Dr. Dre and 50 Cent. There shouldn't have been no LA Super Bowl in LA. LA, LA, LA all around the Super Bowl and I don't get the call. So how'd you feel? I was hurt by that. Thank you. And if you recall, 50 Cent was getting roasted online after the performance for his weight, which was odd because users on the web were all against body shaming people until the target was 50 Cent. And back then, even the game joined in on this bandwagon to clown 50 Cent. And over the last few months, people started to notice some changes. And now 50 Cent has gone viral for his transformation. And we'll get to more on this in a bit. Today, we also have more that's come from the Dr. Umar state statement that Eminem cannot be one of the best rappers of all time because he's non-African. And controversial actor slash rapper Orlando Brown recently shared his thoughts on Dr. Umar's claims in an interview with Cam Capone News and this sparked some interesting reactions which we'll get to later. So starting with 50 Cent, after the Super Bowl performance, he was getting roasted online for his weight that made international headlines as these images went viral. And back then, Game joined in on the action to clown 50 Cent and claimed 50 looked like rotisserie chicken hanging upside down during the Super Bowl and back then 50 Cent made headlines for this clap back. I call this teasing me, they're just teasing me because they know I can drop the weight. That's why I laugh with them. Fat shaming online applies when you're ashamed of your fat lol and fans have been noticing since the final lap tour started but the transformation is complete and has finally gone viral and sparked reactions like they talked all that ish on the big homie at the super bowl look at them back lean as f and 50 cents been posting new photos like every hour on ig since his transformation went viral and some are asking how do these dudes be losing weight so easy and some concluded dude is just a quarter now but all in all, 50 Cent certainly wasn't joking when he said he could drop the weight easy. Moving on, Dr. Umar's comments about Eminem continues to be a hot topic and the unpredictable Orlando Brown was recently on Cam Capone News and first of all, he had this to say about it. You know, I, I, I love Eminem, you know what I mean? Everybody know I love Eminem. He literally taught me how to rap, you know. My thing about Eminem is, they just need to respect him. I always say that, they need to have more respect. I feel like he got the respect already from the world, but the real, but the, but the real people that's on the inside and the, the mu some musical people, they just with him just to with him. Just to be disrespectful. Just to make him feel like he has to fight for that he ain't gotta fight for. But he also expanded on how people may bring up Eminem's skin color to push his buttons at this point, like something to get a reaction from Eminem, just like some people may be triggered when you call them ugly, short, fat, or when you call their outfit pink. I like that pink, man. Mom, bro. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Okay. Okay, Mom. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. The reporter knew what he was doing, calling Jay-Z's suit pink, but back on topic, check it out. Some people know how to press them buttons. I'm just saying he's the king, bro, and you know, these kind of questions only bring dirt to the kingdom. It's like, why are we trying to dethrone Eminem all the time? It's like, we're gonna keep asking questions about a person that intellectually killed everybody verbally on wax? Like, no, nah, we're not gonna keep doing that. It's disrespectful. He's one of my favorite rappers. And in reaction to his comments, we got the classic, Eminem is great, but in the great conversation, race comes into play because it came into play in his career. If he were black, a lot of his content would be rejected. If he were black, he wouldn't have had the career he's had. Is that a crystal ball? And Cannibals is an example of, because he probably better than Eminem, but the politics got him here. I've always wondered why they only use examples of rappers that quote failed why not Jay-Z, Nas, Big, Park, DMX? Why Cannabis? It is always the negative examples for obvious reasons because bringing up race is always used to bring Eminem down like there's no successful black rappers. They'll be like, why is Royce not as big as Eminem? And I ask, 
why is Royce not as big as Jay-Z? He's just as skilled, right? Why always Eminem? And another user concluded, dude a goat, no matter first or last, to be white and make it in our culture says a lot. Rap battles and top chart songs. So in conclusion, Orlando Brown is out here making Dr. Umar look crazy for those comments. It is wild. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below and see you on the next one.